Hello everyone, this is TCB ASMR here. In this video, I will be discussing and looking at the scores of Game 1 of the NBA Finals and Game 2 of the NBA Finals. So first we'll look at Game 1, which happened uh, this past Thursday, the first day of the month. The Nuggets did win this game at home, 104-93. Top score for the Heat in this one was Bam Adebayo. He put up 26 points on 13 for 25 shooting. Also had 13 rebounds, 4 offensive rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 personal fouls. Then for the Nuggets, the top score was Nikola Jokic, who put up 27 points on 8 for 12 shooting, 10 for 12 from the free throw line, 1 for 2 from 3, he had 14 assists and 10 rebounds, so another triple-double, um, and then he also had a steal and a block and two turnovers with one foul. Uh, other important players in the game for the Nuggets and the Heat were Jamal Murray, shot 50% from the field, put up 26 points. Aaron Gordon had a great game, especially a great first half. Uh, he was tearing up the Heat in the paint in the first quarter and, I mean, the second quarter a little bit too. Michael Porter Jr. didn't have the best game. Uh, actually had a pretty bad game. And uh, as you'll see in game two, he did not play well in game two either. Still managed to put up 14 in this one, though. Um, and then for the Heat, Jimmy Butler did not have a great game. Uh, pretty lackluster. Caleb Martin shot awfully, or shot horribly. Max Struss, or Max Struess, did not make a single shot. He went 0 for 9 from 3. Gabe Vincent did shoot very well. He went 5 for 10 from 3. But then off the bench, Duncan Robinson didn't shoot well either. Uh, but Kyle Lowry did shoot pretty solid. 3 for 6 from 3 uh, for 11 points. Sorry if you guys can hear uh, the train slash streetcar in the background. Uh, hopefully you can't. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Nuggets got off to a hot start. Won the first quarter, won the second one. The only quarter they lost was the fourth, uh, but the Heat just could not make a shot in this game, uh, which is what it really came down to. Now, the Nuggets didn't shoot great from three either. They shot about 30%, and the Heat actually shot better than the Nuggets from three. Uh, but they shot worse from the field, a lot worse, 10% worse from the field. They also had a lot less free throws. They set a playoff record for the lowest amount of free throws. They only shot two free throws the entire game, which is not a ref thing at all, really. I mean, maybe a little bit, but uh, I think that's just because they weren't really being aggressive enough. Uh, but yeah, not a very good game for the Heat in this one. Now let's move on to Game 2, which as I'm sure you guys know, the Heat did win. Uh, pretty demoralizing loss, I would have to say, for the Nuggets. Especially since, um, you know, they were up for a, a decent portion. Um, after the second quarter, they were up by 7, or by 6, I mean. Uh, then they won the third, and then they lost the fourth by 11 points. Um, for the Heat, the top scorer was Gabe Vincent. He shot very well. Max Struss finally shot pretty solid. 4 for 10 from 3 is not bad at all. It's 40%. Uh, Jimmy Butler still didn't have the best game. Didn't really shoot well. Uh, did have a, a nice amount of assists. 9 assists. Or a good amount of assists, I should say. Uh, Kyle Lowry did not shoot well. Um, and then, I mean, Bam played pretty solid. Uh, Duncan made some shots off the bench. But really, it was almost the reverse in this game from the last game. Uh, so the Heat didn't shoot well at all in the game before this. This game, the only player that showed up for the Nuggets was Nikola Jokic. Uh, Jamal Murray went 3 for 8 from 3, which isn't bad. But um, he went 7 for 15 overall from the field. Now, he did have 10 assists. But 7 for 15 isn't amazing. Um, Aaron Gordon was solid, but he didn't do as much as he did in the last game. And Michael Porter Jr. is really struggling. Uh, 
He's a combined, what, three for like 17 from three so far in the series, and he shot two for eight from the field uh, overall. So he's just not had a good series at all. Now, as I mentioned, Nikola Jokic, he didn't put up a triple-double this game, but he did put up 41 points on 16 for 28 shooting and 11 rebounds. Uh, so a fantastic game for Jokic, uh, which is almost the the norm from what we expect from him now, uh, which is just insane. But yeah, the uh, the Nuggets just didn't show up in this one in the Heat. They played they played a, a good bit better than they did in the first game, um, and then in the third game, the next game, which is tomorrow, I believe. They might have Tyler Hero coming back now. As I mentioned in my predictions video for this series, that could either improve their team, improve what they have currently, or hinder them. I think unless Tyler Hero comes out, you know, like a splash brother just hitting everything or shooting like 39, 38, 40% from three, uh, I think it's going to be bad for the Heat because... As I mentioned, he is a liability on defense. And you already have guys. Uh, I mean, Kevin Love isn't an awful defender, but he's not really a good defender. Um, especially going up against like Aaron Gordon. Uh, you know, the athleticism just doesn't really match up, uh, match up there. Now, in saying that, Kevin Love did grab 10 rebounds in this game. But, of course, rebounding isn't exactly uh, defending. But three of them were offensive. So you do have to give him some credit there. He didn't shoot well, but he still was hustling on the boards. Uh, but I think a key for the Heat is they need to get Jimmy Butler going. Jimmy Butler needs to get going. He cannot, uh, I mean, granted, he still put up 21 points, but he cannot be shooting 7 for 19, uh, almost 30% from the field. Um, you know, that's just not going to work. Now, I mean, the Heat did win this game, but uh, I don't think the Nuggets need home court advantage to win this series. I don't think, uh, obviously it'll make a difference, but it's really, I believe, just all up to the Nuggets uh, if they win this series or not. I feel like it's, it's completely in their hands, in their control, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys thought about these two games. Uh, who do you think is going to win the series? Now that we have seen the first two games of the series, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is very much appreciated if you do. helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.